I don't want to get in his way because I don't really know the way this is supposed to go. I'll be honest. I'm going to be honest with this. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Well, just figure out where you want to go. And I'm go just going to kind of mess around a little bit. Just mess around a little bit. Hey, brother, if I get in your way, just tell me. Oh, no, you're good, man. Chain tensioner is working really well. See if I can hit this lip over here. Or not. Yeah, well you you approached it all you approached a little weird. Nation. Thank you guys for tuning in to once again another outdoor edition of Wolf Tick Videos. We're excited you guys are here. Wolf, Wolf Man. Road Trip. Wolf Tick Road Trip. Wolf Man's uh, over there behind the camera. You guys might be able to see him with the other fancy camera view we got going on here. We are in beautiful Hot Springs at Hot Springs Off Road Park. As you can hear. As you guys can hear, as much of UTV, side by sides, dirt bikes, all that good stuff. Uh, we had a good time here. We've been camping and we thought, you know what? While we're in Hot Springs, you guys remember one of the e-bike episodes? We actually took an e-bike to a pump track and in Hot Springs today we are fixing to do the same thing but instead of an e-bike we've got the 26 inch Mongoose Durham that we have got a whole bunch of goodies that we're going to throw on this bike and try to just make it a little bit better. So far we've got a, uh, a chain that's jump. got a... Huh? It's the dirt jumper. It's a dirt jumper baby. Uh, so far we've got a chain that is completely slack. I mean that sucker bounces all over. So we're going to fix that with a chain tensioner that our boy Berserker sent us. Step number whoa, two. Whoa. We are going to change out these tractor tires for some Kenda K-Rad tires 26 by 2.30 that Berserker Nick Thank you. sent us. And then we're going to get rid of this terrible Magura brake, or I'm sorry, Maroka four piston brake. We're going to get rid of that. We're going to put a four piston zoom brake on the back of this bike. All right. Everybody so, gets tired of you confusing Magura and Maroka. Yeah. They I, are I, sick of that. I get confused easily. So guys, um, after we get done doing all that good stuff, we're going to go into town. We're going to take this thing on the little pump track. And I think they have like a little skills track over there too. I don't know. But uh, guys, if you're interested, please stick around, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you ain't a part of the Wolf Tick Nation. And uh, let's get after doing some upgrades to this bike. All right, guys, first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this back tire. I want to replace these tires first, and then we're going to uh, put it back on here and look at that chain tensioner. Chain tensioner should uh, hopefully tighten things up because that right there, it's already beat up the chain stay. These are the Storm Specialized tires on a Bucklos wheel set. Those tires were super cheap, and we got the only 26ers we had sitting around, so we used them. Yeah, tires are super cheap, 26ers, and Bucklos actually sent us this wheel set. Uh, hub is super smooth, and um, Berserker pretty much, I mean, hooked us up with most of the stuff on this bike as far as making it a one by dirt, uh, one by dirt jumper build. So, Berserker, thank you so much for not only sending us uh, all this stuff, but you know, some stuff that we're gonna be putting on the bike today. But well, let's go ahead and get this guy swapped over. Let's put a proper Kenda tire on this. And we'll mess with the chain tension. All right, guys, so here's the tag off of the Kenda K-Rad tire. 26 by 2.30 man these things recommend 30 to 60 psi and these are gonna be some super fast rollers just take a look at that tread start with 35 ish 40 yeah we'll probably start at 35 i mean oh i was wrong the max is 80 psi on these things yeah. what i like is they're non-directional they can go either way start at 40. the old emblem looking thing is pretty sweet there i love that it reminds me of honda you know what i mean yeah, that, and k-rad that is so cool. K Rad. It's kind of like, you know, a rad bike. So it's it, rad. Yeah, it's rad. It fits. But, but it's the, K Rad. It's K Rad. The uh, tread is super cool it's on this the guy. Of rad. All right, let's go ahead and break this tire down. And then what we'll do is uh, we're going to stick this guy in the back. And instead of swapping out the front, I want to mess with the uh, chain tension. That's kind of a neat little deal, too. Apparatus. I think, uh, I think regardless of the direction or not, you really should do the lettering on the drive side, unless it's on both sides. Um, no. Okay, do it to drive I'll side. do it on the drive side. Thank you. It's a very good looking tire. I wish we had a scale out here because they're actually decently wide. Yeah, I know. We didn't weigh them. Wire bead, but no, we don't have a scale out here. Well, what I'm looking forward to is this same exact episode is going to be us riding on this thing and trying to flow and really pump on an e-bike. You know, it was fun, but this right here, a bike that's going to be built for that, it's going to be really cool to try out. 
hone the dresser. I don't just use your tool when I get a flat. I also use it when installing. All right, guys, we got 40 PSI in the Kenda. We're gonna slap this guy back on there. Remember, we're also gonna be changing out this brake, but we're just putting a zoom brake on there, another four piston, one that we used to have on the GT Aggressor Pro. We've also done a real-time review on that one as well, but um, I wanna get this back one swapped out, um, the tire that is, because I am excited about installing this chain tensioner that Berserker sent us. Look at that chain. That's a crazy amount of slack in there. Let's get this chain tensioner. I'm gonna show you guys. All right, guys, so here is the chain tension that we're going to be using today. All of this basically is it has a little spring that's loaded in here. One of the portions of the spring goes towards the bottom. And this guy here, I'm guessing where your derailleur hanger is, that little notch that's most of the time used for a B tensioner, I believe that spring matches up with that B tensioner. And then it's going to be putting a crazy amount of tension going straight up. And we've also got like a little miniature jockey wheel that's probably going to face, I'm not a professional, but I think it's gonna face like so, like that. So basically, it'll be in this position here, this orientation, and we'll be able to tighten up this little hex in there and kind of decide on where that chain alignment is to put a little bit of tension on there. So let's see if we can get this guy screwed in here first and then we'll pull the tension up off of it. That's gonna be a lot of tension. You know, if we went this way with it, if we went this way like this and I clocked it around like that, it's wanting to take the spring with it. I could try that. Hang on, let me let me see if we could do this. So right now it is on the lip that you normally put your B tensioner. Um, and of course we don't have a derailleur, so that ain't gonna be an issue whatsoever. It's kind of weird though. I can't tighten it completely or else you can fill the bind. But if I just, that, that bolt's pretty long. If I just kind of snug it in there. Why don't you try getting it set up on there and then see if you can tighten it if you need to. Do. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right, let's put that little jockey wheel. Works. Okay, jockey wheel is going to go here. Right. Zerker might be rolling his grave and he's not even dead. All right. So it's actually clearing the chain stay. That's one thing I was worried about running on the bottom half, but it's it's clearing it now. There's not a. Do you think it's gonna? It has it when you pedal or something. Do you think it's gonna hit the chain stay? No, I don't think so. It tensioned the crap out of it. Okay. Holy well, crap! Let's try it like that. See what Dude, that is like taut now. The only thing, and remember this chain's a, I guess it's like a BMX style chain, right? For the whole one by. It adds a little bit of tickering noise. You hear that? That's the, you know, like those back in the day when you put like a little soda can in there and you want to rah, rah, rah. I'm wondering if it's actually going to do that because it's doing it right now. But I'd rather that than the chain slapping up against the chain stay protector. So very cool. Mookzi, M-U-Q-Z-I. Guys, we'll try to put a fill link in the description below. Can you guys see me? Try putting the fill link in the description below for this here. Berserker, that's awesome, man. Thank you for sending that. And, Let's get this other tire in the front. You can let us know it's done wrong. That's fine. Yeah. Looks like that's what we're going to have to try. It. That sucker's tight, man. Cool. Okay. So let's put the front tire back on there. Um, we'll, we'll fast forward for you guys. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put this rear brake, uh, the zoom, uh, one, the one lever, because we're only running a rear brake on this. And we'll put the zoom brake on here, see if we can get some stopping power. And we'll be ready to take this thing out to the trails. Go. All right, guys, it. here Damn. we go. Full, wolf fans full hot. We just had full. such a good day. I'm only no, putting the we bike have all not, together and everything. Hot. We've not had a good we day. We come out here to the pump track and he just completely flips the switch. No, I don't know. No switch being flipped. Anyway, we've got no, the mongoose. This is the nope zone. Are you done? No. We've got I'm the mongoose. Okay, shut the hell up. <laughs> we've got the mongoose Durham 26 inch. We've got the Kendall Wheel set on here. It's the. the, it's the Dirt jumper. The, it's the, the chain. DJ. We got the, taint, the chain tensioner on this guy. We've got a brake that actually works. A zoom four piston, and then uh, we've got this awesome pump track all the way around us. We're just gonna play around on this thing. You guys got to see all the uh, upgrades that were just put on here, um, and everything was pretty much furnished by Barzarker Nick. So thank you so much. But yeah, it's one of the best episode. Of the worst gratuitous slow mo of our channel's history. If we even showed it, I don't know. Oh, what we're that showing was. it. Yeah, anyway, guys, but... Uh, that was some diva gratuitousness. Yeah, we're going to see how uh, how the chain tensioner does, see if it's loud or anything, see how these tires track, um, and hopefully I can get a bunch of speed on this on this track. So they got another homeboy out here. I might get some footage too. 
But uh, all right, guys. Again, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you're part of the Wolf Dick Nation. Let's drop in over here and play around a little bit. A few laps, guys. We're gonna continue to get some laps in on this thing. We're gonna see if we can get some air on it too. There's a cool berm right here that we're gonna try to hit sideways like that. Dude, this thing moves. Oh, it scoots. But definitely a leg workout. Let's see if we can hit this. Oh, there we go. A little better. Oh. Gosh, that's a lot of fun. Yeah, it looks fun. I mean, you're just moving and you only really have time like mountain biking. You can kind of look ahead a little bit. This thing right here, we're just boogieing along. Oh man, this is a nice bike. It's super quick. That air pressure is working. These tires grip so good. Why they can't make a mountain bike tire that's as good as these things? These right here are actually pretty damn ridiculous. They are moving. Oh, they are sticking super well. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I'm digging Zerker it. Zerker knows his crap. Yeah, he really does. The one by is great. The chain's tensioned up, so when well, I'm trying to get a little bit of air and everything like that, mm -hmm. it's doing such a good job with the uh, chain tension just being completely tight. There's no wiggle or anything. And really, the chain tensioner back here, I think we've mounted it right, but um, you can hear a slight you know but really when you're flowing you're not really pump you're not really pumping your legs on this you're just mm -hmm. pumping your your butt down you know there's no need to have to pedal for the most part so it's it's decently quiet ride yeah, yeah and it's on this asphalt let me get a few more laps in all right i'm gonna try to hit over here hit that mm -hmm. and see i was trying to see if i can maybe clear one of those pumps to the other side but i don't know we definitely got the speed the speed is there try to do it one more time and see Try to flow it. Ah. This bike can get away from you quick. And we are moving right now. Oh, those tires are gripping, okay. <laughs> See if I can actually clear one of these here. Try to clear these little pump sections. But I don't think I can, there's too much of a gap there. The zoom brake's feeling good. It's not the strongest of brakes, but it'll get the job done. And I'm sure Captain's Cog's freaking out like, what are you doing? You're not going the right way. I don't know. I don't know how to follow those lines on that thing. All right, guys. Well, that was a blast. I don't know how well the video was put together because I was having so much fun and I was having such of a workout. My legs are done. Well, the GoPros aren't exactly cooperative. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, the GoPros are a mess. I've been riding and riding and riding. They keep freezing on me. It's so hot out. But uh, just a complete blast. Again, Berserker Nick, thank you so much, man, for sending us the stuff on this bike. As I talked about earlier, it's so fun to ride a bike that's specifically built for this in mind. You know what I mean? Like we have a bunch of a barrage of bikes and upgrades that we do to them on the channel. But to get a bike like this, you know, and take it to the pump track or the dirt track like it's supposed to be ridden, it's amazing how well the tires grip, how good the bars feel, how in control I am, how much the seat actually does play a role with it being pointed up towards the sky. Um, everything on this bike is great. Really, the only thing I would want to do is just maybe um, cut the stem down a little bit on the rock shocks fork just so we can lower this bar um, as far as the stem's concerned because it kind of sometimes when I'm rowing, I'm leaning far back, it sometimes does feel like I'm in a stretch limo and that front's getting away from me just a tad bit. So with that stem being dropped down a little bit more, just more control and every little movement helping, well, that's, I think... Well, that, that, that fork's probably going to go on a GT, so I doubt that's going to happen. Okay, um, but uh, man, this, this build is awesome. We got the RockShox Judy Silver TK up front. Uh, th this build just comes together. These grips are great. I'm enjoying the hell out of myself. Like I wish I had better legs right now just so I could ride this even more. Um, 
you know, this is a blast. But uh, Wolf Tick Nation, appreciate you guys watching this episode. You know, we're trying to make something of being out at the campsite. And we're like, dude, we got just the bite to do it. So hopefully you guys showed this video some love. Share it if you don't mind. Uh, give that big old thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you're any part of the Wolf Tick Nation. We do a bunch of fun builds here at Wolf Tick Videos. And I'm happy to say that this one was a success from the uh, chain tensioner all the way to the, uh, the tires, the grips, the rear zoom brake. It's, it's been awesome. So I'm going to try to get probably one more or one or two more laps in here, guys. But we will see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching, man.